This video lesson is a follow-up to the elimination method that I taught on the previous day. Uh, you will need to watch that one first before this one would make any sense. This elimination method has extra steps to it uh, that need to happen before you can actually do the elimination method where you have to multiply first. When you multiply one of the equations, or possibly both, um, by a number, it's the same thing as distributing. This system is going to work because both the x and the y variables are the same in both equations, because this is where the lines are going to cross. Okay, in this example, we're going to notice that the coefficients of the y terms are, um, well, 2 is a factor of 4. So if this one was doubled, sorry, if this term had its coefficient doubled, then that would be the same value as the y term in the second equation. Um, if I'm careful about this, I can actually make it the opposite so that I can add those equations. What I'll do then is I will multiply the entire equation by negative 2, which means I need to distribute that negative 2 and multiply every term by negative 2. Um, this is going to make the first equation negative 6x plus 4y equal to negative 8. So I've got to multiply that by negative 2 as well. Oh, that would actually be positive 8, wouldn't it? Okay, the second equation, I'm not actually going to do anything to it. I'm just going to leave it the way it is so that I've got opposite coefficients for the y terms. And now when I add, these are going to eliminate. Um, so I'm going to add the equations together and get 1x. Hey, that's nice that the coefficient is 1. The y terms completely eliminate, and the uh, constants on the right side work out to 2. I've now actually got half of my answer. Thanks to me scaling up the first equation by negative 2, or um, multiplying first to make those coefficients opposites for the y terms. Okay, second, then I need to go and plug this into one of the equations, and it doesn't matter which one, um, now noting that x is 2. So I'll go to equation 1, 3 times 2 minus 2y equals negative 4. Now I have an equation, this black equation only has one variable in it, um, because I was able to substitute the value of x in place of x, and so now I've got um, only y as my variable, so I'm going to get 6 minus 2y equals negative 4, subtract 6 from both sides, and now I've got negative 2y equals negative 10, divide by negative 2, and that simplifies to y, and this simplifies here to a uh, positive 5. So there's the other half of my answer. Uh, the solution to this system is 2 comma 5. Let's look at another example. In this case, the second equation is not set up like the first. The first has the x and y terms both on the left side. So I'm going to do a little bit of work to make the second equation the same way. I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. And now equation 2 says negative 3x plus 7y equals 19. Well, in this case, I'm noticing that um, the 5 and the 3 aren't really factors of each other. The 2 and the 7, same scenario. So what I need to do this time, actually, is multiply both equations by something. Um, I think what my target is going to be here, then, is to make the x terms, which right now are, are opposite signs, just not opposite values. So I'm going to multiply the first equation by 3, and I'm going to target 15 and negative 15 as my coefficients for the x terms, so that the x terms will eliminate. When I multiply the first equation by 3, that's going to make it 15x plus, uh, sorry, 6y equals negative 54. And the second equation, I need to multiply it by 5. Notice that I'm multiplying it by a different number than I multiplied the first equation by. Again, I'm targeting the x term, and I want to make its coefficient the opposite of what it is after I scaled that first equation up. So when I do the distribution here, I'm going to get negative 15x plus 35y equals 
95. So when I combine my two equations or add them together, the x terms are gone. The y terms are 41y. And when I do the addition here, negative 54 plus 95 makes 41. Well, that's nice, so I'm going to reduce 41s. Here I get 1y, and here I get 1. So I've got half my answer. And I'm going to take this back and plug it into an equation where I can solve for x. Um, one kind of nice thing about the substitution method is there usually was uh, an equation at this point that had already been solved for x. Um, with the elimination method, I don't have that convenience. So really, I can pick any one of these equations. It doesn't matter which. Um, I'll just choose the first equation again. I'm going to plug my value of 1 in for y. So I've got 5 times x plus 2 times 1 should be equal to negative 18. Um, so 5x plus 2 equals negative 18. Whoops, 18. Subtract 2 from both sides. 5x equals negative 20. Divide by 5s. Um, x should equal negative 4. And now I've got the rest of my solution. Um, please keep in mind that in some problems like this one, uh, one of the equations, or maybe both of them, will be set up differently from each other. Um, I had to do a little bit of work to make them both in what's called standard form, where both the x and the y terms are on the left side, and the constant is on the right. Um, if they're both going to be set up in slope-intercept form, that's fine too. It doesn't matter. You just want them to both be in the same form to make it easy to add x terms, y terms, and constants. Here are your practice problems, and I would like for you to do problems 1 and 5. So please do both of those problems, and good luck, students.